It's called A Bear in the City of Bicycles, and it has an epigraph from Byron, um, from a letter where he says, I have got a new friend, the finest in the world, a tame bear. When I brought him here, they asked me what I meant to do with him, and my reply was, he should sit for a fellowship. This answer delighted them not. <laughs> a bear in the city of bicycles. I lead him shambling through the backs, over bridges where he sniffs for pigeons, stands still to let a north wind chafe him. On Hobson Street, he pours the gutters, trails a lorry half a mile for its hoard of brimming bin bags, then swerves to chase a whiff of vinegar, a green foil butterfly scattering its salty pollen. By the cam, he takes each ripple for the dart of minnows, topples in as punters topple out of boats and flail for shore. It's all a game in sunlight. Children grab at tufts of maple fir, warm their hands on living velvet. Market traders offer orange slivers, gleaming halves of melon, dusty bulbous grapes. His snout drips with livid pomegranate juice, and even the traffic wardens pause to smile. But at sundown, sky bruises, railings of black spearheads tipped with frost. The streets are thick with rangy cats. He moves unseen through revelers, bone and sinew, and smells the night acutely. Beer ebbing from dropped bottles, dark and sleek as engine oil. The scent of girls who slip through doorways and into rooms made sickly with their perfume, sweet over the musk of sweat. He pads the centre of an empty road goes lithe over low walls, finds the lush and inky gardens of a college, breathes mint and lichen, or cool air sharpened by the scent of wet juniper. He burrows in the neat grass for the reek of dampened earth, tunnels silently and is watched by no one. Only a night porter, shivering by the oak trees, tracing the wake of his own cold breath, twitches at the tremble of a branch, or gapes at some moving patch of darkness, and thinks the night is dancing. Thank you.